Okay, right, hello and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about large world coordinates, um, or rather specifically, why has particle position um, become a position type rather than a vector? So if you've been working in Niagara for a little while, you'll be used to um, positions being stored as vectors. It's three channels, X, Y, and Z, that's the position in, in space. Um, but as of most recent versions of Unreal, um, last couple of versions ago, uh, the position type or the position, um, the, the way particles position is being stored is now stored as a position data type, which is its own unique data type. Uh, it's not a vector. Uh, we can convert from one to the other, although it's a bit lossy and we'll get into why that is and, and what happened. Um, but why has this happened? What's what's happening? What, what's the reason why we can't just use a vector? We used vectors for years, no problem. Um, what's happened now? Well, let's start here. We have a simple cube. It's not doing anything, it's just a marker. Uh, and then I've got a particle system that spawns some particles in a sphere. Um, and the location of this particle system is very close to the origin. It's minus 270, 120, very, very small values. Um, and that's fine. It works exactly as I expect. If I rotate around, you can see the particles are camera facing. Um, they live forever which is why there's nothing kind of dying and spawning. Um, but it works. It works really well for the purposes of the, this demo. This cube, however, again, not doing anything itself, the cube, uh, but this copy of the Niagara system, and it's the exact same system, um, LWC test in both instances. Um, this one is funky. Um, you can see the camera facing is completely broken. Um, and as I move the camera around, you can see it's clicking back and forth and kind of like, there's a definitely an error here, definitely doing some weird things. That's gonna look awful if we try and put that in our games. Um, so what's the difference? Well, this is at a position in world space of a hundred million units. Um, I believe one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, a hundred million units in X. So it is a long, long way from the origin. Um, and that causes problems. Now we'll get into what, what those problems are and, and wh why they arise, um, but we're just gonna fix this first because it requires an engine re, re, um, restart. So I'm gonna get that going on in the background while I'm um, talking about what's happening and why. Uh, so if we type in here large world uh, and enable this and restart, this setting is enabled by default now. Um, so I just turned it off for the sake of the demo. Uh, so what's happening? Well, whenever we're working in computers and we want to store a number, we decide, or someone at some point has to decide how much data are we gonna use to store that number. And so for example, the number pi might be 3.14159265535, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on infinitely. It's an infinitely repeating number or an infinitely um, non-repeating number, I should say. Um, an irrational, is that what they're called? I think so. Um, and that's great. That's not uh, very helpful. If we're, um, if we're doing some calculations with this, we don't need infinite levels of precision. We don't need all of these decimal places. Realistically, they're not gonna make much difference. They're not gonna change our calculation results. Um, something like 3.14 might be a little bit too low precision. Um, but realistically, we're deciding between these, how much data do we need to store things? Um, and we. I say we, again, not us, but someone who's written the engine um, is going to have made those decisions. Now, for, for a long time, we used single precision data, uh, so 32 bits of computer memory. And if we have here an example, uh, this is uh, Euler's number, um, which again is another non-repeating decimal, so goes on and on forever. Um, if we use it as a single precision value, this is how many bits of uh, binary that store it and in double it uses twice as many and so you can see by assigning twice as much data to store it 64 bits instead of 32 bits um, we're able to get much much more precision uh, and that's basically what unreal have done so they have uh, added this thing called large world coordinates uh, there is a uh, conversion guide here um, and basically things that used to be stored as a vector from float variant is now a double variant now i don't fully understand all of this. I'm not a sort of programmer. I don't go all into that side of it, um, but that's effectively what's happened. Uh, and because of that, now our data is able to be stored at a higher precision, 
we've got m more powerful hardware we've got playstation 5s we've got up-to-date modern computers that we're not quite so um sort of rigorous on on data um and so we can do this and, and that's what the large world coordinate is is done for us so um i believe a lot of it is seamless it should just automatically happen as i say that that project setting is enabled by default. Um, and if we go back to Unreal now, this has reopened. If I just open my test map, um, we can see, if I turn these on, um, the particles at the origin work fine, no problem. Uh, the particles here, still at 100 million units, work no problem. So depending on what you're doing, if your project doesn't have very, very big numbers and it's not a huge level, it's not a huge space that you're trying to do, you can turn that off uh, and you'll save a little bit of performance. Again, go into the project settings. Oh, let's actually just make my UI a bit bigger. There we go. Uh, edit, project settings, all settings, large world. Um, system support large world coordinates. If true, Active effects rebase the simulations not lose position can be turned off to skip unnecessary rebasing calculation. So there's a little bit of performance you can gain back uh, by disabling this if it's not necessary. Although you might then start to run into those precision errors at um, very, very large levels. Uh, and what does that mean in terms of creating our effects? Well, as I say, the um, particle position data is now stored at uh, not as a vector, um, but instead as a position um, and we just need to remember that so uh, it is very easy unfortunately when you're doing something like setting a parameter and you sort of do okay well let's set my particle parameter well unreal is pretty good at it let's set position if i type in vector well there isn't a vector in here it's stored as a position so we can still work combining the two together uh, there is a transform position so you can transform a vector into a position, um, but it is a lossy thing. Obviously we're taking something that has less precision and applying it to something with more precision. And so we might get those errors again. Uh, and occasionally you get a warning saying that this has been a, um, a, a, a this has been a, a sort of a lossy thing and try not to do it. Uh, if I do it the other way round and let's create a new, uh, let's create a new vector. And I do a transform uh, to convert position to vector. Not sure why this is called convert and not transform, I guess because it's lossy maybe. Um, but it gives us this warning. Conversions between positions and vectors is a potentially unsafe or at least lossy operation when working with large coordinate systems. That's what this me message uh, and error means here as well. So um, just something to note, uh, unfortunately, I was hoping that when we had disabled large world coordinates in the project setting, it would just convert back to all being vectors. But I guess that's too complicated under the hood to, to sort of support both of those things. Um, but something to be aware of. We're working with positions as a new data type um, in, well, in all intents and purposes, it is just a, a vector, the same as you would use any other vector. 